Welcome back to the high school sports page brought to you by Burns Insurance Group. We will uh, now take a look at the 4A and 3A polls. Terry, I'm going to speak very little on these because 4A, I had no changes from last week. Fulton, Marshall County, Greenville, Stone Memorial, and Hardin County, all big winners last well, week. Well, I've only got a couple. Murphy, Marshall County, Lipscomb Academy, and Page are in the top three still after convincing wins. They've got Pearl Cone back at number four after they beat Maplewood last week. The Firebirds are 3-0 and in Region 5-4A. Springfield remains number five following a 45-14 win over Portland, and they also are 3-0 and in 5-4A, a showdown loop ahead with those two October 30th. Pro Cons 3-0 in the yes, league because right. of all those non-regional games that's they exactly played right. early. No uh, changes in my 3A poll either. Alcoa, Liberty Tech, CPA, CAK, and Elizabeth and all big winners last week. CPA still number one in the mid-state poll after they beat Stratford. DeKalb County moves into the second spot following a win over previously undefeated Sequatchie County and the Indians drop to three after that first loss. Fairview stays at number four following their fourth straight win over Cheatham County. And the Upperman Bees back into the poll at number five following a 36-15 uh, uh, win over York. And the Bees are now 3-0 and in Region 4-3A. A showdown looming ahead for them with DeKalb County in two weeks. It will be a great it game will. in my backyard, more or That's less. Right. Not far away at all. Charles Rathbone, the head football coach at Page High School in Rudderville, Tennessee. Unincorporated. I, unincorporated, <laughs> but it's still on the sign. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Charles, you guys are 5-2. Uh, uh, and two. Both of those losses... Uh, because of a missed two-point conversion, one-point losses, you guys could be 7-0 and oh real easy. Uh, uh, what, what do you attribute this year's success, early success to? Well, I think any time you have success on the football field, you have to start with your senior class. And, you know, we got a good group of leaders and pretty athletic, and, and they work extremely hard. And we saw that back in the weight room during the summer, and they, they show up every day with a good work ethic, good attitude, and you never hear a complaint. You know, no matter what we ask them to do, they're, they're willing to do it to get better. And, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of this group. And this is the first group when I took over. This is my first senior class, you know, four-year class. And, and they, they've lived up to all expectations. Coach, your fellow coaches uh, picked you in preseason to finish in a tie for third uh, in your region. Uh, but look here, you're tied, for Marshall, tied with Marshall County uh, in first place. Uh, neither of you with a loss in the region. And if you get past Giles County next week, uh, then the regional championship will probably be decided in Lewisburg on October 30th uh, in the last game of the regular season. I know you don't like to look ahead your next game, which of course is Giles County, but how exciting would that be uh, for the potential opportunity to play for the regional championship uh, since you've been the head coach, I guess? Well, you know, my first year we had the opportunity to play Giles for it. We didn't, you know, we didn't, we didn't play very well that game. So I know Marshall County, and we've seen them on film, and Coach Osteen and saw them at 7-on-7. Seven seven. They seem to win every single 7-on-7 seven seven this summer. They're very athletic. But, it, you know, it would be very exciting, I think, for both schools. You know, he's a great guy and, and a great program, and, and it, it'll be a fun uh, atmosphere if we get that opportunity. Coach, a couple of players have really stood out for you thus far this season. Your senior quarterback, Michael Magochi. Magochi. Magochi, I'm sorry. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> and uh, running back linebacker, uh, Michael Roberts. Uh, obviously great leaders, uh, great guys on the football field. Uh, but what do they mean to this Page Patriot football team? Well, that's, that's who we get our energy through. You know, they, they play with passion. Uh, Magochi's kind of a, a, a silent guy that plays on, you know, just goes hard every single time. And, and Roberts, he plays with emotion, and he, he's tough to tackle and an extremely good outside linebacker. And, you know, we, we kind of feed off them. But we have other guys that, that show up and can make plays, too. Connor Morris is having a great year. I think he's got somewhere around 30 receptions. And, and uh, the backup running back, Dylan Myers and, and Noah Green, you know, it's hard, to, it's hard to find enough balls to go around when you got some of these guys. And, and again, it's a, it's a class effort. The whole class really has bought in and, and done a great job. How many seniors do you have on this year's uh, team? Twelve. Okay, that's still a, a pretty small senior class, so obviously uh, some sophomores and juniors making major contributions as well. Yeah, at any one time on the offensive line, we'll be playing four sophomores. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a very small junior class, um, you know, probably led by Chris Dahl, who, who's playing both ways on the line for us. 
But, uh, you know, yeah, we've had to depend on some of the young guys. And I think, at, you know, you go back to that preseason poll, that's what everybody was thinking. You know, how's the, how's the young line going to play? And, and, and they played better and better and better every single week. I was going to say, even you didn't know that, did you? That, <laughs> going was, that in. was the biggest question mark, <laughs> yeah, I think, in your, in your magazine. That's what we talked about was our offensive line and defensive yeah. line. Are they going to be able to hold up? Yeah, that's exactly right. Because had, we had the Magoches and the Robertses of the world, but the, the line of scrimmage was really the question mark yeah, on both sides of the ball. Right? We had to replace all five starters on the yeah, offensive line sure and three on the defensive line. So, I mean, they, they've done a good job. They played well. Charles, your fourth year as a head football coach at Page. Uh, Williamson County football has really come a long way. I think we would all agree in the last uh, since you've been the head coach even. In your opinion, what, what's been the reasons for the growth and success we've had in Williamson County with, uh, with all, most all the football programs? Well, you know, I know the, uh, the guys at top, you know, they get a lot of heat, but I really do contribute, you know, Dr. Looney and Dr. Farmer really coming in and making athletics important in Williamson County. And, and that's one thing they did when they first came in. They even changed the mission statement that states that athletics, you know, we want to excel in athletics. So i got to give a lot of credit to them for doing that. But I also think the uh, the level of head coaches and the coaches in the county and the and the principals hiring coaches in the school I think that makes a world of difference in, in so many different ways, and, and then of course you you can't be good without the athletes you you know you know the old saying it's about the X's and O's no it's really about the Jimmys and Joes, uh, <laughs> you know and that, that's true I truly believe that you got to have athletes to be good and, and I think Williamson County you know is 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 doing a good job of getting their athletes out of the field. Well, coaching also has a great deal to do Absolutely. with that, and you've got an outstanding staff, as do all the coaches uh, in Williamson County. Tell us a little about the staff, and maybe in particular Jack Daniels. Jack started uh, started the program at Ravenwood. He was a coach at Brentwood. This is, I understand, his last season here, uh, probably headed to East Tennessee uh, uh, after that. But Jack has been uh, quite an influence on Williamson County as a whole. Yeah, Jack obviously left, uh, what, about seven years ago to be, or eight years ago to be the county athletic director, and he came back to uh, Page about two years ago. And, you know, he's, he's been a blessing. You know, he's an older guy. You know, he was there with Moses, but he, <laughs> he knows football. He really brought the spread to Williamson County up in Brentwood. And, uh, you know, we kind of adopted some of those same schemes off of him. And, and our offense coordinator, who is uh, Jonathan White, has done a great job. Of, you know, Coach Daniels has mentored him over the last couple of years and doing a great job. And, and our defensive staff with Derek Pack and uh, Brian Magochi, who is Michael's older brother, played at Centennial, uh, have done an absolutely great job of, you know, getting those guys ready to play every week. And, you know, we, we would not be where we are right now without, without you know, our coaching staff. Coach, uh, we all know the TSSAA <clears throat> realignment went into effect this year, um, and classifications changed, region, regions changed in the whole nine yards. But uh, in your region, you've got two new teams, basically, Tullahoma, Lawrence County, and, of course, added in the mix with uh, teams that you've been with for a while, Giles County, Spring Hill, and, of course, uh, Marshall County. What, what are your thoughts on that mix? Uh, do you feel pretty good about the way you came out with that, uh, with that particular uh, region? Well, you know, that's two good teams that you add to our district, you know, usually year in and year out. But I guess you look at, you know, what I look at, I look at the quality of coach. And, and Coach Olive and Coach uh, Marston are, are great coaches and they're great guys, you know, strong strong, uh, strong men, strong leaders. And, and Coach Olive actually coached against me at Maryville back when I played at William Blunt in the early 90s. But, you know, they're just they're great individuals. So anytime you can add that to the region and add that to the mix and learn from them, you know, I, I think it's a bonus for us. I do miss the uh, the non-district games or the non-region games meaning something, though. You know, we played Lipscomb and BGA. You know, obviously we lost those games, but, I mean, it, it makes it a little bit more exciting when they, they count towards where you're going to go to playoffs. But, you know, I don't think there's any perfect system. Mm -hmm. No, that's very true. Coach, this week you've got a buy, as we talked about before, you, uh, Giles County next week. Uh, tell us an uh, inter interesting question. Uh, we ask different coaches the same question. But uh, during your bye week, uh, what, what do you focus on? Is it just your team? Uh, do you give the kids a little break? Uh, what, what's your schedule been this week during the bye week? And well, we don't, work that? we don't get film on Giles County until Friday night. Night, Saturday morning so we uh, you know we gave them a couple days off we gave them you know last Friday off and and Monday I'm sorry Monday off and this coming Friday off and we, we focus on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday we got back to the weight room and hit it pretty hard and we want to focus on our technique we're big technique blocking responsibility um, so to answer your question we focus on ourselves you know getting uh, getting back to the things that we do well uh, the kids are tired, so we're not going to line them up and, and beat them to death or things like that. So we'll go out in shells or halves, and, and we'll, we'll just, uh, again, work on our assignments, our routes, our responsibilities, and, and just kind of watch a lot of film and, and try to get better at execution. 
Coach Charles Rathbone, a former governor at William Blount High School. If I'd have known you'd been at uh, Carson Newman, I would have worn my Eagle baseball cap tonight. Oh, that'd uh, been awesome. Been a long time. <laughs> We're glad you joined us. Certainly wish you and uh, the rest of the Patriot Nation uh, the best of luck throughout the rest of the season and on into the playoffs. I think we'll be talking about Page High School uh, for a few weeks into November. Well, we sure hope so. We're excited, and I appreciate you all having me. Thank you very much. Charles Rathbone, head football coach at Page High School. We're going to take another break. We're going to look at some Brentwood Academy Ensworth highlights. Uh, B.A. a big winner in that game last week. And we'll be back with more of the high school sports page right after this.